Hey YouTube, this is going to be a showcase and how-to over the electric longboard that I put together. I know there's a lot of DIY electric longboard videos on YouTube, but mine really takes use of compact design and new technology. You're not going to have a giant remote control transmitter that's used for controlling RC cars or RC helicopters and that's super giant. This one is compact, ergonomic, it's great for skateboarding. You're not going to have wires everywhere, you're not going to have a ESC and a receiver and the battery line clogging up the internals of your board. I got that all centralized into one spot, into one board, and everything comes together super nicely. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a test here. I'm going to turn on the board, turn on the transmitter. It's going to beep to let me know that everything's connected. There's a battery indicator light right there. Here's the throttle and... A lot of power in this thing. Overall, I'm able to reach a top speed of around 17 miles per hour, a range of seven miles with a 175 pound rider, and the overall weight of the board is a little bit under 12 pounds. Moving on to the parts used in this electric longboard, I'm gonna start off with the box that houses all the necessary components and batteries. This box I bought from Walmart, which is on screen right now. It's a great price, especially for the durability. It's marketed as a waterproof tackle box. It comes with these three latches right here. I mainly only use the one in front because I find it kind of difficult and annoying to take all three off just to change out the batteries. And the good thing is whenever this one is compromised, I got two backups. Opening this up, it had some ribs in the box and compartments for the different hooks and lures. But I dremeled those out in order to house the battery. And for safety reasons, I didn't put any screws under the battery. Great thing about this box is that it's super low profile and provides great clearance from the ground. Moving on to the batteries, they're Zippy 5000 milliamp 20C batteries. They're both three cells and I charge them up with this IMAX B6AC. There's a setting that I charge it at, two amps. The lower the better for the battery. Now moving on to the ESC control board, electric speed control. This board is great. It comes with everything that you need to start off your electric longboard. It comes with the receiver, the motor controller ESC. It even comes with this transmitter and the power button. This transmitter is great because it features a reverse mode and a forward mode, throttle, even a brake. You charge it up with this micro USB. It's worked out great. Now moving on to the three phase 400 kV motor, it's brushless. 400 kV being every volt that you apply to it, it's gonna be spinning at 400 RPM. So applying 22 volts with these two batteries, it's gonna be spinning at around 8,000, 9,000 RPM. It's on screen right now on eBay. This motor hub and pulley system came together on eBay as one order. It was a great price, especially for the quality. Here it is right here, an extra. That's what it looks like. Everything is done using set screws. And here's the wheel that I use, large diameter. I bought it from Amazon. It's worked out great so far. For the construction of the board, I wanna start off with the motor and motor hub. Everything is tied down using Loctite and set screws. So there's a set screw with Loctite on the motor shaft as well as the motor hub going onto the truck. One of the biggest issues that I ran into was the belt grinding up against the wheel, as you can kind of see right there, it was riveling up against the wheel. But I fixed this by grinding down the truck a little bit, pushing the motor hub into the truck a little bit more, and that gave enough distance to clear the wheel. Now moving on to the gear and wheel system, there's a view for you guys right there. On your longboard wheel, there's a flat part and there's an angled part. The flat part faces into the wheel. So once you do that, you're gonna get your big gear. It looks just like this if you buy it from the kit. There's five holes and they're all threaded. You're gonna put a washer down right here. And you're gonna put the gear just like that. And then you're gonna run, you're gonna drill five holes through the washer and through the entirety of the wheel. Once you do that, you're gonna put it down, everything down just like this, and you're gonna get your long M3 screws. 
those are the ones that I use. And you're gonna put that through the entirety of the wheel, through the washer, and through the gear. So it look, should look just like this. And that's held up great. It might be deviating a little bit, but after a while the board seemed to balance itself out, correct itself through the human error of lining up all the holes which are necessary. Moving on to the internals of the box and how I mounted everything on the box down. The ESC board and the box are all mounted to the board using T-nuts. T-nuts are these right here. They look just like this. What you're going to do is you're going to drill a hole that's necessary for whatever you want to mount, whether it be a light or the box. You're going to drill a hole that's larger than the diameter of the T-nut, the outer diameter. You're going to sink it into the hole. You're going to put a washer wherever you want to in your box, and then you're going to send a screw from the bottom and tie it up a little bit. And what that's going to do, it's going to sink the T-nut into the board with those spikes that you see right there. And that's going to hold the T-nut and hold the hole placement into the board so you're not going to have any rattling or shaking. All these right here are for mounting the box and these two are for mounting the ESC board. These two I haven't got a chance to paint yet that's because I just put in the LED lights and I'll show you guys those next. These lights, I bought two of them from Amazon. They're on screen right now. The great thing about them is that they're waterproof, so you can seal them up. Same thing with the box. And they're battery powered. If I screw it off, you guys can see. They take three AAA batteries. And there's a little nylon ring right there. That keeps them waterproof. And the great thing about these lights is that I can control them with my phone. So on, off, any color that I want. As you guys can see, there's red, green. So super cool lights. Along with these lights, I've also mounted a back tail light, which looks like this in case I'm running at night. I want a little bit more visibility for other drivers so that I don't get hit. It's perfect, it's mounted. With these extra holes that are right here, drilled into them, mounted two screws from the bottom, going into the housing of the light. It worked great. Lastly, I'm going to do a little demonstration of the board. So right now I got the batteries all hooked up. I'm going to press the power button. It's going to light up blue, letting me know that everything's connected. I'm going to turn the controller on. It's going to beep. And looks like everything's good. On my phone right now, I got the LED controller. So I'm going to go ahead and make it multicolor. And as you can see, it turns on the controller. So I can make it any color I want. If I want red, blue, green, it's all controlled on my phone. So you're not carrying around too many remotes with you. So let's put it back on multicolor. And now we're going to do a little speed test. So we got the board ready to go, all the lights are on, the backlight is on, it's fairly dark outside so you guys can get the full effect. Fair, fairly flat, right here on my phone I have pulled up the speed, it's fairly accurate, I tested it in the car, right now we're at a stop so it's showing 0 miles per hour, or 1 mile per hour, so it's fairly accurate. So right now I'm going to kick off, keep the camera on there. I'm gonna start going. As I said, it's fairly flat. And we're gonna keep going. Almost at full throttle, 16 miles per hour. Right now we're at full throttle, so it shows 17 miles per hour. As you guys can see right there. And yeah, this is the board.